This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If you're a Nissan loyalist, then brace yourself for a degree of disappointment with the Juke. The B-Body crossover is marketed as a fun-to-drive sporty platform with a technological edge aimed at younger consumers. That said, it's definitely edgy with its styling that looks very close to the concept version of the vehicle. The Juke comes with an overall length of 162 inches and has a footprint of just over 99 inches with a 70 inch width. These dimensions create an interior cabin that works for four, not the five that is advertised. The rear cargo space is only a little more than 10 cubic feet with the second row of seats folded up. Of course when they're down there's nearly four times as much space to haul stuff. And speaking of the second row, we found that it takes a degree of dexterity to negotiate, especially with a 17-inch step-over height, just to get in. Mechanically, Nissan tried something different for the U.S. market. The power plant is a turbo-assisted, 1.6-liter gas-direct-injection, four-cylinder engine. It's rated at 188 horsepower and 177 foot-pounds of torque. This is an aluminum block with a chain drive, and premium is the recommended fuel. It's mated to either a CVT automatic gearbox or a six-speed manual transmission and comes in both front-wheel and all-wheel drive configurations. This combination is advertised to deliver 32 miles to the gallon in highway driving. During our test, the best we got was 28 to the gallon. Another shortcoming was the range of the Juke. The 13.2 gallon fuel tank failed to deliver the promised 300 miles. We'll give Nissan good marks for an integrated control function readout in the center stack. It alternates between climate control functions and engine torque settings. Overall, the Juke is a vehicle for folks who want a performance-oriented small crossover and should not be mistaken for a fuel efficiency leader. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.